I was on a live the other day <clears throat> and I was talking about guys who just will not invest in themselves. It's usually in blue collar industries. They refuse to uh, put any money into their mentality, yet they do believe that going to college is a good idea, right? That's something we've been programmed to do since we were young. College, I think I averaged it out. I, I did this on Google one time and the average college uh, cost four year college cost thirty eight thousand dollars, right? Thirty eight thousand dollars. Well, if you're not willing to just invest that, maybe into your professional knowledge, right? Say you start your own business and you're not willing to invest thirty eight thousand, uh, you're either just lazy or you're dumb, and could be both, right? So that gave me this idea, and I was like, well, I should draw the uh, the smart and lazy matrix, and that's what we're here today to talk about. I'm going to put this mic, position this, and kind of give you my theory behind what this is. And it comes down to if you're really dumb, you don't have the option to be lazy. So let me draw this for you, okay? But before we get into it, my buddy Aaron is doing a free web class on how he scaled his business from zero to over $200,000 a year with one truck and no money. And it is going to give you the three secrets that took him from living in his van to building one of the most prominent cleaning businesses in Nashville. So check it out. It's going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. There are a limited number of seats. So if you're interested, definitely register soon. We got the peak. This is peak laziness, right? You know, sometimes I joke around. That's like Gen Z. They start like right here, peak laziness. And this is peak level smart. All right. This is like Elon level smart. All right. Like rocket ship smart. And a lot of us can't really ever aspire to that level of smartness just simply because our IQ isn't, you know, 150, 160, right? I mean, we're not geniuses. We could probably aspire to somewhere here in the middle. Right. But let me draw this out for you. So basically what this shows you is the smarter you are, the lazier you are entitled to be. And why is that? Because you know how to implement systems. You know how to build businesses. You know how to build leverage. You know how to do investments. You know how to put your money because you, you're smart. You invested in your knowledge and you got real smart. And so now you could probably sit on a beach. Now, let's go the opposite direction. All right. Let's go to like dumb. OK. And this is where we all start out. But some people just decide to reside there forever. But they think they're smart. This is the worst recipe. If you're dumb, yet you think you're smart. When you're dumb, see, smart, this is dumb. See, you don't have the opportunity to be lazy. You know, when you're dumb, this is like, this amount of lazy is like digging ditches. It's all day in the sun, sweat your tail off, doing concrete the only reason you're having to do this is because you're dumb and you're not willing to get smart. If you buy courses, right? I'm not even talking about mine, okay? I'm just talking about anyone's and you learn and you invest in yourself. If you invest in the people you're around and you get into clubs that won't have you, right? That's the, that's the club you want to be a part of, the club that doesn't want you there, okay? You pay to be a part of it. You start getting a little more savvy about where you spend your money and how you invest it. So say you do that. You get a little smarter. Well, guess what? You got leverage coming in. You got some passive income coming in. You got some rental property income coming in. You got some Airbnb stuff going on coming in. You have the opportunity to be a little bit lazier. So, at the end of the day, this is the curse. The smarter you get, what I've found, the more ambitious and the harder you work. It's wild. People who are really smart usually are not lazy. Usually, they're the ones because they know how to set it up. 
What I'm talking about is you have the opportunity to be lazy. Look, a guy who owns $20 million worth of property, he could just go to Costa Rica and get paid, and you'll never see him again. He has that opportunity to be lazy. But what we have usually is guys who are dumb. They can't be lazy at all. But they also have a PS5. Okay? They also have five or ten pairs of Jordans. Expensive shoes. That are hundreds of dollars a pair. That don't like... They don't help you like walk better. They don't help you jump better or run faster. They're just expensive. Right? So, this is a source of being dumb. So, you know, if you took this money and you sold all the same, maybe even it's a, it's a little aluminum boat that sits out back, and you sold this stuff, right? PS5, Jordans, maybe it's a little boat or it's a, another car that you got that's just sitting around, it's kind of ratty. Say you just get $5,000, right, for it all. And you took that and invested that into your brain. See, maybe you could afford to be a little lazier and take the kids to Disney World, pay full price on everything, not eat peanut butter and jelly in the truck. Okay? But that is the conundrum. This is the smart, lazy matrix. The smarter you are with your money and with your investment and with your mind, the lazier you can be. And look, isn't it wild? And I'll end this smart, lazy matrix on this. What's wild to me is where I come from in South Alabama, lazy people are looked down upon. Now, I would say that's fine. That's, 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 a, that's a good thing. I think, I think it should be frowned upon to be lazy and dumb. But if you're rich... And lazy, apparently, you've stolen it from everyone. Apparently, you've wronged someone. No, what the facts of it is, is they invested in their knowledge, whether it's books, courses, events, clubs, people, to a point where they could add so much value to the marketplace that was not conducive on their movements, personally. They're not digging the ditch or digging the ditch. I'm using a pickaxe over here. They're not digging the ditch. They're not laying the concrete. They're not doing all of this themselves. So they have the opportunity to lay by the pool and be lazy and still get paid. That right there is the smart, lazy matrix, Justin. And I hope that it conveys to people who are watching here, invest in your brain. All right, here we go. Invest in your brain so you have the opportunity to be lazy. Because if you don't, you will be tied to the yoke forever.